First of all, I would like to acknowledge my supervisor, late Professor R. Balash Subramaniam, under whom I worked uh, during my MTech and uh, part of this uh, presentation uh, having that work. And uh, I would like to acknowledge my uh, lab mates at that time uh, in 2000, I think, uh, eight. And these are the history. Here, King Richard and Sultan uh, Saladin both are uh, testing their um, wood steel uh, by cutting the iron rods and by cutting the pillow. So this, these are the uh, different quality wood steel having. So uh, these are the some, uh, you can say, crucibles. Uh, I'm not going to go into that detail. To understand the trading of wood steel, uh, you will be surprised to know that the Indian Empire and uh, this um, uh, Bakria, so those having the, um, one, 2000 uh, years ago, India and Syria were a kind of neighbors. Okay, and there was a good trading between India and this Syria. So Syria here is Damascus, and it is a misnomer. Uh, this uh, people used to say that Damascus is steel. In fact, Damascus sword is there. A steel is our wood steel. Okay, so these are some some uh, uh, you can say misconception in the literature. Now uh, this is the sample we have uh, procured from uh, this. Uh, Kona Samudram, near to Kona Samudram, during the um, survey of uh, South India. Uh, and uh, this Jackson has helped us a lot. And it has been characterized. And we found that chemistry wise, this sample is uh, coming in between other uh, Damascus swords. And uh, we have also observed that cerium and uh, this niobium type of alloying elements were present. And these are the microstructure evolution. And this from, uh, from low strain region to medium strain region and to a very high strain region. And we were able to see the random distribution of uh, ferritic grains. And there was a, a kind of uh, this uh, bending, carbide bending was also there. And I would like to show the, uh, uh, this uh, work published in Nature. It, it claims that at the age of the Damascus sword, the carbides are present in, in, in form of uh, carbon nanotubes. And that is one of the reason why those steels are being so tough. And uh, we were able to somehow cut even uh, uh, a steel rod as well as we were able to cut that uh, pillow by using this Damascus sword. And now uh, these are the future challenges. We assume that steel is a established research area, but considering the vision 2047, we should also target that uh, this in spite of the fact that there is a very less scope of publication in, in case of high, high carbon steels, particularly in case of wood steel, but uh, we should focus and government should uh, somehow provide some initiative and I'm happy that IKS is taking uh, interest into such kind of thing and they are financing in our department. There are three uh, such projects funded by IKS and I also, uh, through this forum, I would like to convey that Ministry of Steel should take proper initiative in this direction so that uh, this archaeometallurgy in India should be addressed properly. So with this, I would like to thank IKS, Ministry of Edu uh, Culture, for organizing such event. And this is the conclusion part, including all those uh, processing up to this uh, final product of Damascus sword. And uh, these are the few references from where I have taken um, these contents. Thank you.